This week's news was made possible by ExpressVPN. Millions of people across the globe joined the largest climate protest in history, which spanned over 185 countries. The strike comes after a report by the World Meteorological Organization, confirmed the 2014 to 2019 period to be the warmest on record, and have urged government bodies the world over to immediately intensify carbon cutting measures. Greta Thunberg, the Swedish 16-year-old, now known as perhaps the most famous climate activist in the world, told the USA Senate Climate Change Task Force, Please save your praise. We don't want it, don't invite us here to tell us how inspiring we are without doing anything about it because it doesn't lead to anything. Miss Thunberg is currently being hailed as the biggest chat in the climate activism landscape. Moving on, a US drone strike massacres 30 pine nut farmers in Afghanistan, a bunch of idiots try to convince aboriginal Australians to convert to Christianity by burning sacred objects in the name of God. China does some more dodgy shit, and the Australian government is deemed too terrible to the environment to speak at a UN climate change summit. In technology, a town in Colorado has been able to start a community-run broadband network, which offers uncapped gigabyte fiber at $60 a month. The launch comes only a year after Comcast and other telecommunications companies spent nearly a million US dollars trying to derail the effort, and this introduced competition is estimated to cost the company between $5.4 and $22.8 million per year. The town of Fort Collins will likely become a case study of how not a single person on planet Earth gives a shit about Comcast. At the same time, an app that cancels free subscriptions launches in the UK, SpaceX wants to introduce their internet service across the southern US by late next year, and YouTube decides to change the way verification works on its platform. The decision which has since been partially reverted has much more meaningful consequences than most people realize, but I'll save the full explanation for a video next week. In entertainment, the Lord of the Rings television series has been confirmed to be filmed in New Zealand, beating close runner-up Scotland, partially over instability concerns related to Brexit. The show, which is expected to be the most expensive television series ever made, will have a budget of 1.3 billion New Zealand dollars, or 400 US dollars. There is currently very little information about the series at the moment, but the show will be exclusive to Amazon Prime, and the current budget is more than every single Lord of the Rings and Hobbit movie combined. Meanwhile, Netflix acquires the streaming rights to Seinfeld and Chernobyl and The Simpsons, both win an Emmy for Outstanding Cinematography and Best Animated Program respectively. In gaming, Warner Bros. teases a new Batman game, Dota 2 players are banned for 19 years, and the Cuphead soundtrack hit number 1 on the Billboard Jazz charts. At the same time, Gears 5 has an exceptional launch, and Pokemon Go had its most profitable month since 2016. The biggest news of the week however, was the Area 51 raid, which attracted 1500 people to the Nevada desert. The raid that started with the US military threatening the raiders, didn't lead to any alien cheeks being clapped, but did feature adult entertainer, Riley Reed, and this brave Naruto runner, behind an incredibly well composed newscaster. The entire event didn't lead to any casualties, but did include a handful of arrests mostly unrelated to raiding. The 24th Chad Infantry and the Royal Kyle Drywall Battalion made their way to the site, but were however, distracted by the evening festivities. One brave infiltrator from the Elite Karen Special Operations Unit was able to get past the guards, but wasn't able to find information on where the manager was located. I think it's important to understand that it doesn't matter that we didn't acquire a copy of Shrek 7 or find any aliens, because in the end, the real treasure of Area 51 are the friends we made along the way. Viewers who intend on raiding other high value targets with the help of the internet will probably want to stay completely anonymous, and by god, Uncle Swag has the thing for you. If the Order 66 of memes is getting you worried, or you just want to watch Netflix shows not available in your country, then you'll probably want a VPN. I use ExpressVPN. 
to view region lock Marvel movies, not intended for my broody Australian eyes, and I do so with the confidence of 20,000 emus going up against the Royal Australian Artillery. ExpressVPN are so confident that they're the best that they have a 30-day money-back guarantee if you're not impressed, and users can get started at as little as $7 a month. Take back your internet privacy and find out how you can get 3 months free by clicking the link in the description box or going to expressvpn.com forward slash degenerate.